Hello all, I am Sai and you are watching the book tracking. In today's video, we are going to see the first one in a series of videos which I am going to plan and uh, name as the pros and cons series. So the first video in this series is going to be pros and cons of paperback books. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. I have tried to balance the pros as well as cons for all the uh, formats of books that I am going to discuss. So the first video is going to be paperback just as I said before. I don't think that uh, any format of book is uh, better or less than any of the other formats. So I am trying to balance them all out. All of them have their own pros and cons right. So today we are going to see the pros and cons of paperbacks. I want to start it on a positive note. So let's just discuss about the pros of paperbacks first. The first and foremost things when uh, things which I consider as the pro of paperbacks is the price. They are extremely cheaper compared to hardbacks. Normally, hard hardcovers or hardbacks, uh, uh, any way you call them, are like at least two to three times uh, expensive compared to the paperbacks. So I always prefer paperbacks because they are so cheap, they are, they are so affordable, and they don't empty your pocket. You can buy a lot more amount of uh, paperbacks for the same amount using which you can buy a hardback so I think they are very much affordable when it comes to price. The next pro is that paperbacks are always so light okay because of the cardboard or the uh, cover that they actually supply they are not heavy they are not hard so most of the paperbacks are always uh, less in weight so you can carry them anywhere it is easy to lift a paperback and hold it for a longer amount of time when you are reading but when it comes to hardback the binding of the book itself is so thick and most of the times it is very very heavy. Uh, for example, if you consider some of the Stephen King books which I have here, you cannot see them in the frame right now, but those books are huge. They are like bricks rather than books. While I'm holding a book and I'm reading, and uh, it needs to be comfortable for me, right? So uh, if I want to uh, read for a longer amount of time, I'd always prefer a paperback because they are so light and they can be easily handled anytime. The next pro comes hand in hand with the fact that paperbacks are lighter. That is that uh, we can carry paperbacks anywhere because they are uh, so small and uh, they are also e uh, very light in weight. Uh, usually when I go to office, okay, when I used to go to office uh, two to three months back, what I always do is I have this book sleeve into which I uh, always have a book and I keep it in my bag. And um, what happens is that it's not so easy to fit in hard covers inside a uh, book sleeve first of all and uh, carrying a hard cover is always a pain in the back okay or a pain in the shoulders while you are while you're hanging your bag on your shoulders because they are so heavy and they are not so easy to handle while you're trying to push it inside a book sleeve itself sometimes uh, there's a probability even that the book sleeve will rip off so i always prefer paperbacks when it comes to traveling or uh, how to say it. they are easy to port uh, and i'd say that i buy uh, many paperbacks paperbacks because uh, when if i have to move in the future to some other place it's easier to ship paperbacks because they don't occupy a lot of uh, space and they are also very easy to carry anywhere. The next pro is actually a type of paperbacks that are available and I'm sure uh, any reader will not at all be against me in this because this is the most comfortable and the best format of paperbacks that you can ever imagine. Actually they are the best formats of uh, physical books, books you can actually imagine and they are floppy paperbacks. Okay. You just see, uh, if I open the book it just falls on itself, it doesn't uh, stay erect and even if I open it fully, the spine's not going to uh, not going to be damaged because it's floppy. You see, it just shakes away very easily. And floppy paperbacks are always the best. When I see a floppy paperback, and if the story is something which intrigues me, I don't think at all because they are so hard to get. Especially when it comes to India, most of the paperbacks that uh, are available here are uh, UK hard, uh, UK uh, covers or even the Indian books themselves, they are not that much easily available as floppy paperbacks. So if I ever come across a floppy paperback, I don't miss it at all because it's so so easy to handle. If you had read a floppy paperback, you'll understand what I'm trying to say. Next pro is also one. Uh, I think it is a bit specific to some of the readers and not to most of the readers because uh, I'm a reader who usually cleans my books. Okay, I at least uh, clean my bookshelf as well as my books uh, at least once or twice a month. I at least dust them off from the outside if I'm not able to take them all out and clean them one by one. I always dust my books and it is always so so easier to dust and clean paperbacks because they don't have this uh, different uh, cover like the hardcovers. The hardcovers always have a depth right from the cover to the pages so dust usually settles on those small places but when it comes to paperbacks they are so flat. You see they are so flat so the dust maximum settles here alone so it is always easy to just wipe it off and the dust also doesn't stick that much to the uh, 
covers when it comes to paper bags because uh, most of them are coated with plastic and when it comes to those glossy covered uh, paper bags it's even more better the next one is also one very important pro when it comes to paper bags and i'm sure that most people buy paper bags due to this single reason and it is that they don't occupy a lot of space in the same bookshelf if i if i fill this uh, rack with my hard covers i'll be able to place like a maximum of 15 to 20 books but if i place my paper bags i'll be able to fit in nearly uh, 30 to 40 books which are like 200 to 300 pages long most of my books are at least 400 pages long so i'll be able to fit in at least uh, 20 to 30 books it'll be uh, so easy to fit them in but when it comes to hard covers most of them are just like huge bricks and it is a bit difficult to uh, occupy a less amount of space when you have very uh, low amount of uh, space in your bookshelves and i always prefer paper bags due to the fact that they don't occupy a lot of space the next important pro of paper bags is one which is aesthetically very pleasing and it is that paper bags always come with printed covers okay there is uh, there are not that many paper bags with plain covers uh, they have the name of the book they have the name of the author everything on the cover itself and uh, you need not open anything and see in order to know uh, what book a pro uh, book actually is but when it comes to hard covers uh, most of the time i think like all of the time what happens is that we don't get any printing on the front cover of the book it's always on the spine we just get the name of the author as well as the book on the spine but not on the front cover due to the presence of the dust jacket sometimes if you just happen to lose the dust jacket there's a huge chance that you'll not be able to find uh, the proper books just by looking at the cover itself but when it comes to paper bags there's no such problem at all now moving on to the negative aspects that is the cons of paper bags the first con of paper bags is that they have very stiff stiff spines and the fact that paper bags have stiff spines is something that is not at all so easy to handle when you are a reader and you don't want to damage your books i'm a person who doesn't want to open my books to the fullest because sometimes when there are stiff spines like in this one it might just put up a crack on the spine and it might spoil the entire book so stiff spines are a very very big no when it comes to paper bags the next con is also another one that is related to the spines which is stiff spines are one kind of a problem but you can easily handle them compared to uh, the next con which is weaker spines sometimes what happens is that some books are a bit too thin and what happens is that they don't put the binding that properly what happens if you open the book just when you reach the uh, center mark or the uh, midway of the book the spine just cracks okay i've experienced like uh, it like uh, one or two times in the past and i'm trying to not at all repeat it ever in the future and that's a very very big problem guys the spine is like the lifeline of a book uh, the moment it starts crumbling the book is going to be destroyed very very soon so i don't want weak spines as well as stiff spines next con that i'm going to discuss is actually the size of the paper bags hard bags usually come in maximum two standard sizes uh one is the one which you can see here which is like the regular hard cover size and the next one this one you can see here and here they are uh how to say uh, they vary from edition just uh uk hard covers are a, a certain size and us hard covers are a certain size that's the difference but when it comes to paper bags you have a variety of sizes okay and i always prefer to buy big size paper bags like this one because they are so easy to handle they are like almost the size of a paper bag and for people who have big huge clown hands like me it's easier to handle because why i have to read books like this one <laughs> they actually seem like miniatures when i when i'm trying to read them but when it comes to the uh, books like this one they are actually the size of the hard cover but they have very very beautiful spines so they don't crack they don't open and they don't get easily damaged so the size of the paper bags is a big big con the next con is that paper bags don't ever come with dust jackets there are certain paper bags in which the cover itself is a bit folded in the inside such that it appears like a dust jacket but it is actually not because it's just the cover that's just bent inside and it is not available in like maximum of the paper bags i don't even own a single paper bag like that because it is a paper bag it's not a hard cover and hard covers usually come with dust jackets which are like very pleasing to see and they also protect the uh, cover of the book in a great way but when it comes to paper bags it's not that easily available and the colors uh, sorry covers color also easily changes when there is no uh protective layer layer uh, surrounding the cover the next con is that we cannot uh keep uh paper bags in the same pristine new condition for the longer amount of time that we actually keep hard covers because 
hard covers are designed in such a way that they can be shelved for like years put together but when it comes to paper bags what usually happens is that their shelf life is a bit lower in a year or two they start yellowing and sometimes uh, if the quality of the books is not that great some of the papers even start to crumble which is not a great thing so the shelf life is one of the main cons when it comes to paper bags the next con is that paper bags are usually released at a later time there are some books which are coming out now that have the paperback as well as the hardcover releasing on the same day but most of the times what happens is that the hardcover is released first because uh, people have that excitement to read the book when it comes out so the hardcovers are expensive right so the publisher will be able to make a lot more than uh, while selling a paperback but paperbacks are uh, cheaper in price so they decide to sell it later because uh, how to say the range of audience who will uh, access paperbacks is more but hardcovers are uh, expensive in rate so they'll make a lot more income for the publishers and that's the thing which uh, drives me crazy because everyone uh, deserves to uh, read a book that's released at the same time and it's always just uh, so important to release both the hardcover as well as the paperback on the same release date that's all for today and if you did enjoy watching this video do watch out for the other videos of pros and cons which i'll be publishing in the successive weeks if you want to get more content from me do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day